My name is Lindsay Sweat. I am a primary care sports medicine provider here in St. Mary's. Um, my primary care, I take care of patients at Camden Primary Care. And then starting in August, I'm actually going to be doing some sports medicine with Summit Sports Medicine and Orthopedic downstairs as well. I've always loved sports. I um, always played sports, continue to watch sports. Wish I could still play like I used to, but you know, we get older and things change. So sports have always been a passion. So I added the um, extra year after primary care of doing sports medicine in general. And then when I got to the area, I realized there was a big need for additional concussion management because we don't really have anybody here that handles it. Um, so I kind of took it upon myself to get additional certification specifically for concussions once I moved here to hopefully help the surrounding area with athletes and non-athletes alike that um, didn't necessarily have the benefit of particular care here that they do now. So I did sports medicine fellowship after primary care residency and that was a lot of hands-on concussion management. Um, I had my own high school team, my own division two college team, and then I also worked with Clemson as well. So we handle all sports medicine aspects, including concussion. So I got a lot of hands-on management of what to do, what to look for, how to treat. Um, and then for my additional concussion training, so I am actually a certified impact consultant. So impact is um, a company that puts a test out. And so the problem a lot of time with concussions is that everything is very subjective. You're going a lot based on symptoms and how a patient feels. The benefit of impact is that it gives you quantitative data. So it gives you reaction time, it gives you processing speed. And so a lot of times for the high school athletes in particular, what we do is we get a baseline impact test before the season starts. That way, should they develop a concussion later on in the season, we can then test again. And it can show you the difference in their processing speeds and reaction times to kind of gauge you of how severely symptomatic they still are despite them saying they're back to normal. So it kind of gives you actual numbers to address and base decisions on. The first appointment is honestly a lot of education. It's going through what happened when they initially got hurt, what symptoms they had, how it's progressed, if it's gotten better, if it's gotten worse. We go into a lot of past medical history, so things like ADHD, depression, anxiety, learning disabilities, those pre-existing conditions can actually affect concussion duration and severity. And so we like to ask lots of questions and determine if there is any risk factors like that. Um, and then an exam, obviously, so we're talking about what symptoms they have, how their concentration is, how their balance is, um, what triggers their symptoms and what makes them worse. But like I said, the majority of it is education. It's, okay, now you've had a concussion, so you're at higher risk for another concussion. And usually with each subsequent one, they get more severe symptoms and they get longer symptoms. So we have a topic about, you know, what are your goals in life? Are you hoping to be a Division I athlete? Or are you hoping to be an astrophysicist? Because it's a different conversation depending on what you want to do with the rest of your life as far as at what point are too many concussions, too many concussions. I think the biggest key with athletes in particular is that they always want to get back as quickly as possible. And so my take home message is everybody does it at their own speed. So my typical scenario that I describe is imagine you have a million plugins in your brain. A concussion is you're grabbing a handful and just unplugging them. And so everyone is going to plug those back in on their own pace. So what may take one person two days to recover may take someone else two weeks to recover. And that's okay. Everyone's different. The point is, is that we tailor each individual treatment program to each individual person. So that way we're maximizing their ability to return to their pre-concussion state. Up until now, for our athletes with concussions, they were having to go either up to Brunswick or down to Jacksonville for neurology. And then for our car accident patients, they had to go to Jacksonville. There were no other options. So I, I just hope it makes it easier on them that they have someone here that they can rely on. Um, all of the athletic trainers in the area, I communicate on a direct basis with, so they always keep me informed and we're always on the same page. You know, if the athlete or the parent or the trainer has questions, they always call me or text me. So I, I'm hoping that it just makes their life easier in general.